Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to some more Geopolitical Simulator 4 Power and Revolution, our Uganda playthrough. Episode 17 with the series here. We'll go ahead and just keep things rolling along here. We're doing pretty good so far. A lot of it's just been spent on building up infrastructure because we've been rolling a nice treasury every quarter. So that's kind of been the big thing. What was the budget excess, by the way? 13 billion. Nice, nice, nice. And inflation was starting to go down a bit. I'll have to do things like raise a few taxes and such to probably keep that going. Oh, the demonstrators are demoralizing. Blah, blah, blah. And somebody had mentioned there was a war going on between India and China. I didn't even realize that. Yeah, there is a war going on. Are they actually fighting on the border here? Has there been any fighting? Aside from like a war, it looks like it's some type of cold war right now because I don't see shots going back and forth on the border. So, there's that. Got a lot of wars going on. Okay, and... Let's see, inflation's just kind of hovering at 39%. So if we go to taxation, we could increase tax on large fortunes, could potentially help. Any type of tax increases can help with inflation. So we'll go ahead and make a new reform. We'll call it uh, uh, probably fix inflation. And create the reform. We could probably do a value added tax on that. Ooh, people really dislike a value added tax. Like a lot. Hmm. Inheritance tax. A lot of money in raising these taxes because we have such a large population now. All right, there's a couple taxes. We'll see what that does to our popularity. Probably going to explode. And by that, I mean negatively explode. Okay, the game's slowing down a bit probably because... Oh, actually, believe it or not, it helped. What's the point in getting... The game's slowing down a bit, probably because of all the wars going on. Okay, so we've got more camps here. Let's take them out with the soldiers we've got in the area. Still have this stupid hostage situation going on. Hey, we engaged some fighters. Nice. We actually cleaned them up, too. I've got all sorts of trucks out here. Where is my satellite? I don't know. I don't see it. What is this? We have a train line. I wasn't even aware that that existed. All right. We're probably going to go after Angolia here soon. With regards to I will accept this now officially. Oh, my God. Um. Throw another 20 million on there. Jesus. Yeah, we're probably going to go to war with Angolia. They've got 104K. I think we could take them out. They're pretty big, though. What's their GDP? I missed that. Um, 217 billion. Yeah, they're pretty... Uh, they're a pretty serious country. I think the Congo is fairly weak. 10K, 15 billion. I'd like to go to war with the Congo as well. I want to inform... No. All right, here's a coffee, and I wanted to tell you to stop funding terrorists, but I can't do that, so I'll have to just go to the UN with it. But is there anything you might like to buy? Maybe some oil. I know I've got a bunch of oil. How much more do I have, though? I already pretty much have everything under contract. I'm actually producing more tanks than you. Oh, 
Okay, here we go. Um, 127. See what we can get here. Oh yeah, we'll be able to get 127 for sure. One thirty-three. I will meet. I will put one thirty-five. Aha! Two point three billion. Well, that'll help. How do I have so many? Oh, I've got commandos going to meet the Angolian forces down here. We're probably just going to go to war with them. They've been in my territory for a while, giving me a hard time, so it shouldn't be that much of an issue to do it. Okay. We are waiting your instructions. Are they still giving us a hard time in the city? All right, I'll clear them out because they're hurting our, they're hurting us at this point. Oh, here they come. We could stop them though. Tear gas will do it. Protesters. Uh, these guys are on the move as well. We need to stop them. That tear gas worked beautifully. Now we just got to deal with these guys. There we go. That tear gas. Perfect, so we've, we've actually trapped them in here. And we'll get this cleaned up. There we go. Done. We have subdued the rip. Oh, okay. Um, did I ever increase my head of state elections? Yes, I did. The terrorist organization. Our infiltrated agent. Okay, we seem to be doing a good job of getting these guys out of here. Let's put some more soldiers around here to sort of watch. And we can the keep... Bastion of rebels has fallen. <gasps> it is the end of this organizing. Yes! We've done it. These guys here though? Finally taking some of these guys out. Oh, that's a good feeling. We just got to wait. It's probably got to tick over still. It says they're still here. 
Oh, there it is. Victory, end of the conflict against the Jihadist Caliphate. Oh, come on. That's got to give me... That's got to give me some type of popularity boost, for Christ's sakes, people. Oh... All right, well, either way, we've cleaned them up. Finally, terrorists cleaned up. That was the way to handle it, the I think. The military base was dismantled, conforming to your instructions. Whoa. Electricity shortage. Oh. Our infiltrated... Why is everything going rapidly downhill? Electricity shortage. I figured that would be a problem eventually. Let's go ahead and get our uh, 3G plant starting construction because that'll take some time to build anyways. So I'll go ahead and start that. That should definitely fix any type of electricity problems we have. Um, I may need to declare martial law. Our fellow countrymen's purchasing power has been increasing... What's currency doing now? Inflation's still hovering. All right, we got four billion. Let's uh, let's go build this. So three G nuclear. <sighs> Ooh, it's expensive though. What about the nuclear? Uh, just as expensive. September. I may wait till the end of September to build it. I know we're hurting for power right now, but we'll have the money to do it then. Okay, the army lacks sufficient men, huh? Well, we can up these numbers. We'll go 400,000 and we'll go ahead and max that. Nah, I don't really want to max it. Let's just go for um, 12,000. Okay, they'll calm down eventually. I would like... Not enough staff in research. How could that be possible? We're not really investing in research. Hire me 2,000 more. It, it'll all help our unemployment. Which is just really hovered right around 4% and hasn't done a whole lot. Yeah, the education system's really, uh, really lacking here. So we should probably go ahead and start increasing some of this. It's going to cost us a lot of money, but it's going to be really good for us. Let's just go ahead and spend the four billion. Education, policy on gender equality, exceptionally gifted, teaching the local languages. Cause that don't cost that much. Student accommodation, renewal and maintenance. I know is the most expensive one. So we'll cut that back a little bit. Backup classes, supervision and guidance, teacher training will up. Supervision and guidance, um, literacy aids. Teaching of the local languages. Okay, let's confirm that. Okay, it's gotta give us a big boost. After the latest privatization, the state has almost no entries left now in the energy sector. In my opinion, leaving the management of such a strategic sector in the hands of... No, leave it. There we go. Our infiltrated agent... Our infiltrated... Yeah. We are awaiting your... In the rioters have taken... The rioters... Okay, so we got rid of that. We just got to deal with the rioters now. I'm going to 
Call for police intervention here, get this cleaned up. You did not do anything to appease the demonstrators, and they have contaminated the whole country with their ideas. The crisis is inevitable. The whole territory is affected by... Whatever. Guy's super dramatic. Every time he comes on, he's like, whines. All he does is whine. Nice. We have subdued the rebel movement. Do you wish to send in the army to disperse the demonstrators? Don't have to anymore. It's over. Okay. Fill that available position. Oh my goodness, we're going to have to connect these countries here soon. Decrees relating to this reform. All right, perfect. So taxes and everything going up. Agents that have infiltrated this organization. So we're hoping this will uh, start seeing a drop a little bit more in inflation, maybe. Damn, these guys are determined. It's like not, it's non-ending. A lot of it begins with, a lot of it begins with these organizations and trying to dismantle them. But I can only do so much. I've increased my amount here. We're waiting for that to max out. Um, a lot of this isn't as important really. Let's see what else we can do. Hmm, consult secret files on political parties, make the scandal lead to a celebrity, to a political party, assassinate a person. Do we have people that are like in charge of these groups that we could assassinate? Unions. Associations. We'll keep an eye on this. <sighs> All right, budget's gone down a bit because I've spent the money on education. I'm just waiting for September to take over so we can get some uh, additional money. Go ahead and rehabilitate 20,000 more of these houses. Our infiltrated they I'm so happy we got those terrorists cleaned up. 
I'll probably need the satellite at some point. I'll go ahead and station it right outside of our capital so I know where to find it when I need it. Kidnapping of a journalist, yada, yada, yada. I do my best. Do I need more police or something? Crime has gone down a lot. Still kind of high, though. There. Give me a million police officers. Legislation. Level of ID checks is strong already. Stock of surveillance cameras. Automatic radars. Well, we've managed to break them up a little bit. Oh. No, just keep it under control. We are your no point going in there and kicking faces in. Intervention of a commando jointly trained by Ethiopian agents and our own agents. The hostage takers were surprised and have time to react. They were all shot down. Nice. The rioters have taken... The rioters... This is just never ending. What group is this again? Anti-racism organization. You. You, you are in for it, buddy. I got to tell you, I've had about enough of your existence. If it's not here, it's in my North Korea playthrough. It's always the anti-racism organization. They're like fired up 24-7. It's unbelievable. How's our happiness look? 123? National wealth. Oh, employment, health. Okay, so health is some place we could spend money on. Falling numbers employed in the administrative field? Really? So what do they want? More? Well, that's just administration, actually. Yeah, they got a pretty low salary. Why don't we get it up here a little bit more? Do you wish to send in the army to disperse the demonstrators? Sure, why not? The rebels have set up a ah, I think we're gonna go to war of Vangolia here soon. Let's send all of our soldiers home. Now that we're done fighting the terrorists. Okay, sit in is over. All right, so health was one thing I could keep improving. It's just expensive. But we can shoot right up this here. We do have a decent budget access. That's a lot. But let's just spend it. I just want to spend all this and get uh, get people a little bit happier here and improve our health. So we'll see the budget excess go down. Treasuries, what it is. Health, old folks, women's rights. Nice. I'm going to forget for the moment my customary and defense, the policy to tell you that. Yeah. As I predicted. All right. Nice. I guess we can clean this up, be done with it.
Perfect. All right, let's uh, the rebel move. plan on going to war with Angolia then while we wait for our treasury reserve to kick over because they were the la they were the next country to kind of, well, it's either them or Congo. Um, I don't know if I can go to war with Congo. If I was to approach the UN, just because I'm curious, what uh, what countries could I technically... Could I say that Angolia is a threat? Confirm. Okay, so I guess that they're not. Or I don't have anything on them anyways. Okay, so we'll switch our Secret Service over. Um, political spying for the Congo. And I don't even have Angolia in here, so... Let's pull some people off of Kenya, South Sudan. Just pull a bunch of agents off here. Confirm, and then we'll create a network in Angolia with the 30, was it 30? I don't even remember now. The heck was it? 30 agents, yeah. With the 30 agents we have here. And we'll start doing a little bit of political spying. See what we can't get. Actually, we should be able to go to war with them. I think they're technically in conflict conflict with us. They are. Congo as well, huh? Congo on our side, though. So we actually can go to war with them without having to. We should be able to go to war with them. Let's just do it. Because they've been in my territory long enough. So we'll go clean them up. Yeah, they've had ships in my territory and everything. They own like a piece of land right here that's that I'm splitting. It's just a mess. Yeah, you're in trouble, Angolia. I'm going to make a straight beeline to your capital. And I'm going to use these commandos to do it. Well, as we fight you on the ground here, yeah, a lot of, I figured it'd be a lot breaking out here. So we'll see if they go to the UN. I'm not really sure. I declared war on them right before a national, a Ugandan national holiday. Uh, really? They're trying to take our city already? Are we trying to take theirs? This is one of their cities. Yeah, we're already moving into one of their cities. Sweet. Israel, uh, Israel's got forces here, too. Yep, I've got forces already moving in here to take the head of state. A lot of commandos moving in here. Let's go ahead and head to the military headquarters with our tanks. Oh, no, take the regional parliament. That's a lot of commandos moving in on the regional parliament. This will be good, though. Do I have any missile launchers nearby? I'm going to grab one up, bring it over here, and have them... Oh, right here, too. Have them fire missiles into these ships out here. Nice. Go ahead and try and kill these 105k tanks. Oh yeah, we are going to take the parliament no problem. So this would be one place under control. They're declaring war on us. Oh, infiltrate. Congo's not happy with us. Okay, perfect. 
Well, this war was inevitable. We knew it was all going to happen at some point. Boy, end of September. We should get a nice fat treasury reserve. That's what I'm looking forward to. Want to get that 3G nuclear plant built. It's $7 billion, so it's going to be the only thing we can build. Um, how's the rest of the war going on? I see we've got uh, helicopters, enemy helicopters coming in, and fighters. Where are my air bases? I thought I had some air bases located around here. Ah, right here. Ah, only one fighter. I need to build more fighters. I was building more helicopters. I don't think I ever actually finished building them. I'm trying to remember now. I don't think I ever queued them up. So, meh. Ah, damn it, the screen's stuck again. This happens from time to time. It'll eventually uh, become clickable. Well, either way, now's a good time to end the episode anyway since we're out of time. Oh, I hate this. It's like one of these weird bugs where you can't click on anything on the screen. Well, either way, I'll go ahead and uh, save the game and reload it. But uh, we're beginning our war with Angolia, so that'll be pretty nice. We'll uh, push towards the capital here, but we'll take a couple other cities as well in the process. We're going to go for a full annexation of them, obviously. There's no point in getting war reparations or anything from countries that... Um, there we go. No point in getting war operations from a country that's uh, in the terror, like in the our sphere of influence or territories that we need to take. So eventually, we got to conquer all of Africa. So we might as well just focus on that. Um, can I get helicopters rank three? I can. I can't get rank four though, right? I'm sure people can sell them to me, but we'll just uh, focus on the rank three here. Confirm. Well, helicopters or fighters, we, we'll get helicopters. It says national production four. We'll produce four of them. Go ahead and send that off to our uh, workers. Um, I have 100 tanks coming at some point from Russia, but I'm starting to think that I'm not going to get them. Or there's, or it was just like a really long time to build them. I'm not sure what the uh, deal was there. And then can I get better fighter planes? Um, like, can I build better? I can only build rank 2, huh? I could buy rank 5, but that'd be really expensive. Oh, I can only build rank 1. Oh, I can't build any because I haven't nationalized that yet. Only helicopters and tanks. So I'll have to go back and nationalize some of that stuff. I think it's the same with missile launchers. Um, I haven't nationalized this too, so I'll have to go back and do that. But we've got tanks coming. Go ahead and purchase some more. Um, 14 of them, I guess. It's going to take some time anyways. 50 million send. All right. So with that being said, I want to thank you all for joining me. I hope that you've enjoyed it. I look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you.